Hello, my name is Sam Hall. This is my peer reflection on Taylor Jordan's persuasive speech on the topic of euthanizing sea lions to protect wild salmon. Throughout this peer reflection, I will be evaluating Taylor on his speech, the info in his speech, and his delivery throughout it. I will use what I have learned throughout my experiences in the COMEX 111 class, both in lecture and online, to give my opinions on this speech. Taylor starts off with an introduction about who he is and what the topic of his paper is. The introduction is not overly creative, but it works, and it gets the point of the paper across quickly. This is good because it lets people know what the speech is about before they start to not pay attention. I would say it was an effective attention getter. He then goes on to state his stance on the topic. He proposed that euthanizing sea lions would be a way to protect wild and natural salmon as they make their coastal runs. He then went on to state what else would be coming up in the paper and why he was qualified to talk about it. This format followed the typical order given by the evaluation sheets from the textbook. Taylor then gets into the body of his speech where he goes over his three main topics. First, the history of salmon, then the recovery as a species, and lastly, sea lions. As Taylor went on throughout the speech, he elaborated on each part of the body, just like the outline is set up. He had those three main points, and for each one, he had subpoints. And beyond that, he had sub subpoints as needed. Taylor also did a good job backing up the claims that he made in his speech with various sources that helped prove and enforce his points and claims. At the end of the body, the thing that stood out was how well the counterclaim was made. He gives some insight into the opposition of his stance, but then brings it right back to why his stance is the correct one. Taylor's conclusion is much like his introduction. It's nothing new and it's not overly creative, but it gets the job done effectively and it's both clear and concise. The no frills conclusion made it clear the speech was coming to an end and it was obvious when the conclusion itself was complete. He did a very good job hitting his three main points again to give a quick recap of the speech. The one downside about using a conclusion like this where it's effective and concise is that it's not very memorable. If you wanted to have a more memorable conclusion, he would need to do something a little more out of the box. Taylor's body posture and over, overall demeanor throughout his delivery fit the theme I've noticed in his speech. It wasn't very memorable, but it was effective, clear, and overall, it was professional. It's hard to tell things through a video, so I don't want to be very specific. However, it, he seemed prepared for his speech. It, it was delivered in a way that seemed like it belonged in a business. Lastly, this speech, like any speech, had both strengths and weaknesses. The strength that stood out to me was that he, he seemed knowledgeable on both sides of his topic. I noticed this through how strong his counterclaim was. It seemed like he'd researched both sides of his argument. And the biggest weakness of his speech was that the tone of his speech seemed too professional and there wasn't as much passion shown as I had hoped. 